new releases, and the winners of the 2022 Director's Choice Awards. This is Trek Zone's Fan Film Update. This is the Bite Size Podcast, catching you up on the latest Star Trek fan film news. 359 has been released a few weeks back. The short story inspired by COVID-era video calls tells the tale of some of the survivors of that decisive battle. David Ellis telling Trekzone that special features have been released as well, including a gag reel, all of which now enters the running for the 2023 Trekzone Fan Film Awards. Potemkin Pictures has released Exile from Eternity. The logline tells us that an experiment to find a foundation of youth results in the infection of an entire colony with an unusual virus. 50 years later, a team from the Webster attempts to administer a cure, but sometimes things don't go according to plan. Fallen Heroes has been released. The next Trek short features Marcus Churchill being interviewed for a Memory Alpha documentary about the Battle of Viridian III aka Star Trek Generations. For me, it's a thought-provoking take with incredible attention to detail on faithfully recreating shots from the movie. The documentary style makes a welcome return because it's a narrative device that makes easy work of exposition without bashing you over the head. Sam's take on the crash landing was great. Now, while it wasn't as big in scale as what we saw in Generations, he played to his strengths and let the viewer remember what happened. Winners have been announced for the 2022 Director's Choice Awards from the Federation Files. Glenn L. Wolfe and Dan Reynolds have teamed up to create the other great fan film awards of the year. I've got the full breakdown of the winners right now. Ambush wins Best Director. Batman Broken Promise wins for Best Actor, Best Screenplay and Best Animated. The 53rd Annual Hunger Games wins for Best Actress. Best Costuming went to The Legacy of the Mandalorian. Escape from Magna Roma was awarded for its hair and makeup and Best Green Screen. Last Stand was crowned Best Cinematography. Best Original Music saw Batman recognised. Karoo Part 1 was recognised for Best Audio Mixing. Devil in the Desert took home Best CGI. Best Effects Makeup went to Renegade, a tribute to a galaxy far, far away. The Oath was Best in Lighting. Nick Cook and Team win for Best Comedy or Parody for The One with the Whales. Doomsday won for Best Canon, Last Stand was the Best Edited, The Oath won for Best Betrayal of an Existing Character, and The Order, Episode 1, took home Best Ensemble. Congratulations to all of those winners, and also congratulations to Glenn and Dan for putting on another fantastic awards show. Well, from theirs to ours, work continues on the 2023 Trek Zone Fan Film Awards. This week was spent writing down all producers, executive producers, coordinating producers, and associate producers for the best producer or producers category. Eligibility for this category just comes down to having somebody credited on screen as a producer. Fan films without one are not considered for the award. So if you are releasing a fan film in the next month, make sure you do that so that you can be entered into this category. We're going to be doing things a little bit differently this year for the 2023 Trek Zone Fan Film Awards. Nominees uh, will need to be checking their messenger inbox or their email inbox to get the absolute latest. Will members get perks? Click join under every Trek Zone video to sign up and get early access behind the scenes for less than a cup of coffee a month. For our podcast listeners, jump onto the trek.zone slash support. Clicking thanks under Trek Zone's videos and Apple's one-time contribution while heading to the trek.zone slash PayPal is the most direct route into this podcast budget. Nothing fancy. Just my pure dedication to the network for a decade, the website for two. Do any of them today, have my eternal gratitude. Or simply continue watching, liking, and subscribing. That works too. Let's chat about uh, 359. Uh, all these other films that have been released as well. And of course, uh, look out for my chat with Aaron Van der Klee, uh, who was a bit of a representative for Star Trek fan films at those Director's Choice Awards. I'm Matt Miller for Trek Zone. I'll see you in the comments. <laughs>